So what are some of the other things that you might uh, might not go so well during the, the game or training that you, you, you can try and fix? Um, like you get dot strokes, so that's tapering off at the end, especially when you start um, going to the back of the line out, so it goes like that. The ball sort of yep, so it's got a bit of a curve. When does that, when does that probably happen more than, than other times? On a windy day or when you start throwing to the back, it starts tapering off the ball a bit more because the ball's in the air for a bit longer. Yep, what do, what do we think that happens? Maybe we're, um, we're like falling, falling off, so it might start to like fail a bit in the year or... Yep, so losing power, great. Yep. Yeah. Also, every time you throw the ball, it's, it's, if you're a right, everyone's right-handed here, aren't they? So when, you, when the ball's traveling through the air, it'll, it'll have a, a, a right-handed spiral on it. So if you think, especially throwing into the wind, you'll find that it curves off um, much like a, a, a ball will be for a swing bowler. Um, as, as it's going through the air. So as it's going through the air, it's creating resistance and then it's going to tail off towards the right. How do we fix that? Uh, it's probably the rotation on your ball and the release, two hand release. Yep. And if you one hand dominant, it's just going to sort of take it one way a bit more. Great. So again, reflecting back on what we talked about with making sure there's no rotation in your throat, which is going to accentuate it. So. Um, and what else, anything else? It could be that assistant hand, like um, maybe keeping that thumb on it for as, as long as possible would maintain like the spiral and maybe it wouldn't have it come off. Great, so if you take your hand off, what, which happens a lot, if you take your hand off really early, then you can be that right hand dominant and then again, that's gonna cause it to, to travel in the wrong direction. So really good point, well done James.